Okay. Yeah, so super exciting time to be associated with Mack trucks, particularly given the recent introduction of our new Mack Anthem Highway model that you see behind me. You know, we really spent a lot of time in designing this truck, talking to drivers, talking to our customers, making sure that we delivered a truck that what, what Lee liked to say is built for business and designed for drivers. And when I talk about build for business, one of the things I'm talking about is the aerodynamics of this truck. You know, it may not look aerodynamic. Um, it looks like a Mack truck. It's big and bold, but it's actually 3% more, 3% fuel efficiency improvement by having the aerodynamics on this truck versus our previous model, which was already one of the leaders when it comes to fuel economy in the market. So super excited about that. Super excited about some of the serviceability, um, you know, easy open hood, you know, everything's accessible under the hood. So a lot of serviceability features as well built into it but then you get inside and you can just see that this is this is a truck that really was designed by drivers for drivers you know that cockpit feeling that you get when you sit in the seat everything exactly where it needs to be on that dash you know so really keeping that driver fatigue down and also helping our customers to recruit and retain drivers because that's a big issue for for customers today is drivers uh, we're gonna start seeing uh, uh, more Mack trucks in an OTR sense uh, and over the road yeah so We've traditionally been known as a vocational truck manufacturer, mm -hmm. right? And, you know, we earn that reputation by literally helping to build the country. You know, yeah. every major construction project from the Hoover Dam to the Boston Big Dig, Brooklyn Bridge, we were part of all of that, right? So we're proud of that heritage. But we've actually always made a great highway truck as well. Um, but that truck had gotten a little old in the tooth, quite frankly. Mm -hmm. So now we have this great new product, and we really feel like we're better positioned to, you know, to compete in the over-the-road market, both in the long-haul big sleeper part of it as well as the regional hall small sleepers and day cabs. So, yeah, we're, we're, we're confident that this gives us a much better competitive position when it comes to those segments of the market. Wow, I appreciate it, man, because I, I drove a Mack truck once when I hauled uh, Hulk food. Okay. It was automatic. It was an older model. Was it a uh, day cab or a it, you know, it was a sleeper. sleeper. It kind of looked like that one there. Yeah. And um, I enjoyed it, though. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you, you can't talk about our trucks without talking about our powertrain, right? Yeah. You know, we, we pioneered the concept of integrated powertrain, you know, our own engines, transmissions, and axles. And the philosophy behind that is pretty simple, and that's that components that are specifically designed to work together work better. And today, we've got the M-Drive automated manual transmission that has really taken the industry by storm. 90% of the highway trucks we build today have the M-Drive in it, that automated manual. And, you know, for some drivers like yourself, they may be traditionalists and say, I'm not driving if I'm not shifting. But what we find is you put a driver in a truck for a week... In an, in, a, in an M drive, automated manual, then they don't want to go back. Well, I'm um, willing to take a year free ride if you want to <laughs> set it up. <laughs> I wouldn't argue. We it. can talk about that. <laughs> but no, super exciting. And then also, I'd, yeah, I'd be remiss if I didn't talk about what we're doing in terms of uptime, mm -hmm. you know, and, and our approach to uptime management where we're taking telematics, right, the technology, mm -hmm. but combining that with real people at our one call center, mm -hmm. um, you know, so, and they're proactively keeping an eye on all of the trucks that are out there. And if we see potential issues, we reach out to the customer and and talk to the customer about what they want to do about those issues before they become real ones so if it's if it, you know if, there, if if there's a code and we can tell the customer look you can finish your job deliver that load and then we'll take care of it mm -hmm. if it's something we got to get done right away we'll call the dealer we'll let them know that the, that the truck is coming the parts will be there the repair instructions will be there so when that when that customer pulls in he's in and out of that service shop as fast as now we can that get is him revolutionary. Up. yeah so we're really excited about that and so you know kind of troubleshooting it while it's going and down the road that's amazing yeah so that's all about it and then the other thing we're doing too is inside the dealer service departments we've got new workflow processes mm -hmm. so we're not you know instead so that the, the shorter jobs get into dedicated bays and get out mm -hmm. so that you don't have an oil change sitting behind an engine overhaul for example oh. right so let's get those smaller jobs that we can cycle in and out and we call them uptime bays yeah. dedicated to the smaller jobs and then go ahead and you know the longer jobs get into the longer bay so we've cut repair times down now by 20 percent and if you estimate say the average repair in the industry used to be before we started doing this but it was four hour repair was the average but the truck would be in the shop for four days and now wow. we've basically managed to cut that almost in half so well, I, super excited about that as well i'm, I'm right now I, I run a vlog so on trucker brown channel is doing three to six hundred thousand views a month and I'm driving a 2012. Yep. I won't say what company truck it is, but you know, I don't want to badmouth anybody, but I'm looking for a truck, me and the owner of my company are looking for a truck that I can drive and it'd be new 
and when I'm going through the vlog, I'm talking about how I feel about it, and it all be brand new. And I guess he's either thinking of this one or the Volvo. Yeah. But I'm probably going to lean them on and say, I don't know. I kind of like what the guy's talking about about Mac. So. Yeah, well, and you got, I mean, I think you have to, you know, obviously we got nothing bad to say about Volvo, right? Yeah. I mean, they're part of our group and they exactly. have make a heck of a product, you know. And, and and I think it comes down there as to what, you know, what brand do you want to be associated with, mm -hmm. you know? We, we like, we're the American brand you can count on, you know. We True. were born here. We were raised here. We take a lot of pride in our people and, uh, and this underlying commitment um, to customer satisfaction that's always driven the Mac brand. So mm. um, we're super proud of, you know, to be the only truck manufacturer who's still building all their trucks uh, for North America in America. Mm. Um, so those are the kinds of things we also have discussions with customers. You know, we can do a lot for your bottom line, yeah. but may, you know, I think you also want to think about what you value and how mm. that lines up with our values. Well, I thank you very much. What's your name? I'm John Walsh. I'm, John deep, Walsh. I'm Vice President of Marketing for Mac. Vice President of Marketing. This is John Walsh. You heard it directly from him. And you're going to set me up with the product guy to go through the tit for tat. Right? I'll do that. I appreciate that. No John. problem. No problem.